Hi everyone, how's it going team here? And I thought I would record the last episode for the building AI for the podcast chapter one, I guess let's call this because it's not really the end of the series, but rather the end of this specific chapter, right? So I've, um, if you watched the last live stream, uh, we've tried to build this classifier for the tweets and my machine almost blew up when we tried to train the TensorFlow one. I've actually Googled around a bit and found a way better um, library that essentially does everything for you. It's called Simple Transformers. Um, it is built by uh, one researcher, uh, I believe. I don't remember his name, to be honest. But anyway, just look it up. It's pretty amazing. The library itself wraps around the PyTorch as well as a bunch of other libraries. And all it takes to create a new classifier using it, let me just increase the size here, is uh, literally saying, hey, here's my classification arguments. In this case, I trained it for five epochs and I asked it to override the output dir whenever it's already there because I just, you know, did a lot of experimentation. And then I just say, hey, create a classification model based on Roberta, uh, which is the BERT, one of the BERT variations. And then I used Roberta base. Here are my arguments and don't use CUDA because VSL2 does not yet support CUDA and I didn't want to spend too much time uh, setting this up right now. And then you just train it on your data set. That's it. It's as easy as that. It's incredibly simple and it does work really well. So like you, it actually works very well. And then to use it, you basically do the same thing. You just create new model, but instead of uh, the, um, wait a second, that's a wrong file. Uh, instead of providing it with a Roberta or whatever, you just say, hey, here's my outputs folder, right? And then you can just throw in whatever you want and it will give you predictions, which works exactly as I want. Again, this actually works a lot better than the uh, TensorFlow approach. So it doesn't blow my computer. It works really well. Uh, I think that's a good uh, point to basically just stop and use that for now. Um, there is a few questions we will have to resolve over time. Like, you know, how do we build the model? How frequently do we have to refresh it? Because uh, right now on my machine, on CPU, the training takes about five minutes per epoch. So five epochs is like 25, 30 minutes or so, which, you know, it's not too much, but uh, first of all, I would want this to, to be automated and to be executed somewhere on server. And uh, second of all, it's obvious that you cannot actually, so I initially thought I would rerun the classification, retrain the classifier anytime there is new tweets and people react or, you know, I react to and give feedback and say, hey, this is actually negative, this is positive. But obviously that's not gonna happen. So this is a bit too expensive. Um, so. I will have to run this classifier or retrain the classifier every day. Maybe every week would be enough. We're going to see whether we're going to experiment with that. But basically this is now finished. And I am honestly, the modern open source is mind blowingly cool. Just look at this. It's like literally, this is just loading the data set, right? And then the classification training is just this. There you go. Done. It's like five lines of code. It's insane how easy this is. I would want to do the CUDA at some point. Again, I don't know if this will happen uh, because again, I want to do this in automatic manner, which means running it somewhere on server. And uh, I'm guessing my crappy VPS will not handle that. I'm considering maybe doing this as a GitHub action, but I will, we would have to like dig into the GitHub action policies and see if we are not, you know, violating anything. But we're gonna, this is something we'll figure out later, basically. Essentially, we got the uh, classify thing now, and that's what matters. We can use that to classify tweets, at least uh, on the very first version. So what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna start a new series where we're gonna build the actual website. Uh, I'm not sure why there's a plugin for Gatsby. I guess I needed it for something. We're not gonna use that. Oh, wait, that's because it's a develop branch. I need an AI branch, there we go. So we're going to start a new uh, website. It's going to be Next.js frontend and uh, Hasura backend. The idea is that we throw in tweets into Hasura. Hasura triggers the action for classification, which updates the Hasura database. And then we just use the Next.js as the frontend for that with GraphQL to just query that stuff and show it on the website. We're also going to add some GitHub authentication and, you know, so that you guys can actually log in and vote on articles, yes or no. And then there is also going to be, since I've, I've had like three giveaways in the past few weeks, which is kind of 
insane. I'm not sure why this happened to my channel, but there you go. So I thought that it would be nice to have some sort of a giveaway section where it's easier for you guys to enroll instead of, you know, doing the whole subscribe, like, add comment, which is annoying. You just log in with your GitHub, press a button, done, you're in the giveaway. You can win the tickets or whatever um, is out there. So we're gonna do that. And uh, if everything goes well, we're gonna start development maybe even this week. We're gonna see how I was it with, uh, with the time, but yeah. So this is sort of the plan. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get rid of this uh, potential security vulnerabilities message we have right here. And uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna see how that goes. So uh, just to, again, as I said, minor update to sort of wrap up the chapter. Uh, I'm probably gonna call the new series something different. And then we're gonna come back to the AI chapter two at some point when we start building the classifier for the full text articles and stuff like Reddit, um, whatever, RSS, you know, the, the other things basically. And then we were gonna have the multi-class classifier or maybe something else for the actual podcast building, but this is like quite far in the future. So let's not think about that right now. Let's just build a website first that shows the tweets, classifies them, and then just, you know, take it one step at a time from there. So as usual, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you found something useful. Again, if you are looking into building binary classifiers or multi-label multi classifiers, multi-class classifiers, actually, this library has it all and it's incredibly easy to use. Um, check it out. It's, yeah, simple transformers and it's bloody awesome. So... Yeah, there you go. So this is basically done from this side. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I see you on the next live stream for building our website. Bye.